All right, this is a Corel Draw video, but it's mainly for a plasma cutter. I also have a plasma cutter and a laser, so I'm going to have the plasma cutter, in, but I'm also going to use the laser to help me do this. So everything that's black on this, this is going to be out of 3 8 or 3 16 inch metal. The uh, black is going to be a rusted metal. The star is going to be offset from the rusted metal three quarters of an inch. It's going to be just sandblasted gray. And then the white letters and the white star. So I'm going to just weld. I'm going to drill a hole in the back of this star and weld this star just to the top. These letters will be offset three quarters of an inch. Normally, when I do something like this, I put a, I weld a, a bar down here so that all the letters will be the same. But on this particular sign, the customer wanted individual letters and I'd never done it before. And, and also the white will be a sandblasted and then polished to a, almost to a chrome effect. So I, this video is mainly for a sand, uh, plasma cutter. So what you would want to do first, let's just get this out of the way. You want, now, let me back up. I also have a laser. So this is where my laser is going to help me. I'm going to cut this out of three quarter inch MDF. I have contoured the letters two one hundredths of an inch to the outside. So my, my, now my steel metal light, uh, letters will fit into here. I've actually taken out the insides, save a little cut time and I don't have to, uh, it wouldn't do me any good anyway. And then I'm going to use painter's tape to tape these in maybe on both sides somehow secure them after I welded the three quarter inch pegs on. Uh, this is for my, it's basically just so I can get it to my shape. So let's just put this in the center. Let's make sure this is grouped. And then what what's gonna happen, then I can set my MDF on top of it I didn't get very close to the, the edge here, but I can use a, you know, square on the table to make sure this is in place. And I actually cut this out right here, this bottom part, so I can get to my weld. So I'll, I'll weld there and there and there and there and there, and, and I'll be able to get to them. Then I can go around the top and I can weld from the top. Then I can take the MBF, MBF off and weld this side and this side. Just realize that's going to be a little, little tricky, but I can probably do it from the side. Anyway, that's how the laser is going to help me. But the main part of the video is how to uh, get this drawing in all ready. And so you need, you know, you need a C for the capital. You need two A's. Uh, you need for the Lone Ranger. You need two A's. You need two N's. You need two R's. So. This is going to be my DXF letter to cut out. So now let's start working on the DXF part. Let's change our table size. I like doing this. I just, I normally cut 48 by 48 sheets. So what you want to do, you've got your backing and then you're going to erase everything else. Just hit delete. Cause if you do not do that, and then when you go to save it, so I'm going to go to file, save as, and it's going to try to save it as a Corel file, but we want to save it as a DXF file. So just go to DXF and then name it. I've already done the cutout, but it will, we'll name this. Um, well, let's just back up here and do this again. So we'll go to file, save as. DXF and you've already got this some sort of name so click on the line now if you hit the back key it's going to erase it all but just hit your mouse button on the left mouse and then just back up and we're going to call this Lone Ranger back plate and I've already done this so I'm not going to save it so when then you hit save you've got that back plate now all you have to do is just reverse this and then we want to take this out of the way and we want to get our star. Let's just hit P on the keyboard, put it in the center of the page. 
So now let's erase everything else. Whoop, I hit P again. Let's hit delete, delete these. There's your star. You could actually move it around on the table, it doesn't matter. Go up to file, DXF, large star. Then just back up. And let's start doing our letter. So let's get rid of this one. We don't need that one at all. Then I just put the C there. Whoop. Delete everything. Now, if you don't do this on your plasma table, it's going to go try to find those other letters, even off the that are off the page. So just go File, Save As, DXF, and you can see I've already saved it, large P. And then I named them. If I needed two letters of the same deal, instead of doing them twice, I'll just cut them out twice. Now, a lot of people are going to say, well, why didn't you just cut them all out? Well, I would, I'm using scrap pieces of, on this particular, I'm going to use scrap pieces of metal of other pieces that are cut out. So I'm going to, you know, instead of wasting metal, I'm going to put these pieces to fit into holes and save me some time. So I just figured out that I needed two A's, two N's, two R's, and two A's, uh, the smaller A's. So I just, if you do not erase it, if you just take this L, and put it up there and save it as a DXF file, it's going to bring all this into the picture of the plasma cutter, and or at least on mine, and it's going to throw you way off. So you're going to need to delete, just circle them, or lasso them, delete them. Now, let's just make sure they're all been deleted. You can hit the F4 key on your keyboard, and it's only going to bring up stuff that's on the, on the not even on the page, and that's one thing that's a little bit different about a plasma cutter versus a, a uh, laser. With a laser, you could have that one letter, that L, you could have that one L place right there. And it's going to only cut that one L because these are off the page. Because a lot of times I'll work and I'll be off the page, but it doesn't matter. But on a plasma cutter, it's going to go out and try to find these. And if it's, and I'm not 100% sure on this, but I'm, because I've only done it one time, it's going to run way off your sheet and possibly hit a dead stop and, and uh, you could ram into the, you know, the stops on your table and actually do some damage, strip your belts. So always make sure you, you delete those other letters. And then when you're, so we want, let's say we save the L. We'll just get him out of the way and go to the A and then delete everything else. Now we can go to save. Let's just check it. Make sure that's the only thing on the page and it is. Go up to save as and just so I'll know that I need two of these. There it is right there. Lone Ranger Large A2. That's going to tell me when I take it out to the plasma cutter that I need to cut two of those letters out. So after you've done your, you know, editing and your, you know, cam software with your start points, you only have to do that one for that one letter and you cut it out. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Maybe that was a little bit confusing, but...